Okay. Oh, you. Oh, you doing the recording, eh? I'm. Re I'm recording it anyway. I'm recording it anyway. Uh, uh, good evening and welcome to my live broadcast on TBC. Broadcasting live from Auckland, New Zealand. This is going to be a real hiccup, this thing. Um, my name is Keith Pure and I'm addressing the Billion Point community. Um, we're just going to go straight into sharing tonight. So we'll read whatever we can. Oh, wow. What do we share there? Eh? Yeah. But how do I get to where I want to go into? Did you have your pages all set up? No. Okay, here. Yeah. How did you get into there? Can you go back to where you were before? No, because I just followed it through. That's launching you again. I went to Shia. Stop Shia. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not sharing anything. Now go to share. Yeah, that's what how it came up before. Is that the one? Must be that one. Share. Now you need to go and find your pages up the top. Well, we've got nothing up there. There, in here. Yeah. What well. are those? can go in there, but then, see, nobody told me that we had to have this pre-set up. Um, yeah, man, you're just learning anyway. There. No, no. <coughs> um, <coughs> I'm going five minutes. Okay, there's a lot of you know, will know that, um, that um, YouTube has um, discontinued um, the Google Hangouts, so we have to hope to find another way to to um, to do the program. And we can still use YouTube, but the only problem there, you can't share any information, like in writing. Okay, so we, we're trying out Zoom. We, I'm new to Zoom, as in sharing side of it. I've used Zoom before, but as for the sharing side of it, I'm new to this. So I think we're just going to have a bit of a play around tonight so we, we can and uh, so we can pick it up because everybody now will be using Zoom. Okay, so as we see here, cash flow student new m based cash flow student is uh, wins first place in the English Bitcoin contest. Okay, I don't understand that French there. Um, Josie shares the blessing of TBC with with Pastor Mike Medina, and there's a video on that one. With growth comes more responsibility. Now, a lot of you have been in and started reading the blog, you'll see a whole lot of challenges, whether we like it or not, has been put upon, upon us. And I believe in these challenges myself, you were not going to find it hard, but something needs to be done because it was a little bigger in there, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the recruiting at the moment is only done between Three to five hundred people, I think. The last week I saw. That's how many people are recruiting worldwide out of the three and a half million people. So, and 
there's got to be hundreds or thousands in there that have TBC coins, whole coins I'm talking about, and just sitting back. You know, I can see one massive crackdown in this, and it's starting, starting as of as of um, as of first of September. That's all right. I've got to pay again. My payment was due up, and I'm talking about the monthly payment. That is, was actually due up in November coming, but it looks like I've got to come right back to first of December and start again. So I've already paid a X amount of months ahead of time, but hey, that's what's happening now. Yeah. Um, and I'm not talking about the old fee because I have already upgraded a couple of months back. So everybody's got to be on the board as of next month um, with the monthly fee. And everybody's got to have their profile correctly done. So if I was you, I'd go in there pretty quickly and make sure their profile is up to date. And um, we might, or I wouldn't say we might. I've actually muted myself without making realizing it. Hang on, can, oh. well, can, can you move? Can you, move? can you turn your screen with your thumbs down? Oh, okay, hang on. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that, that that's what happened. That's what's happening at the stage. No, he's not here. He's still having. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. Admins come down with the real thump, and I actually don't blame the admin for doing it because they are they are the honest ones in TBC, and they are the not so honest ones. And um, so everybody, well, mainly the the ones who hold uh, whole coins, will end up getting punished for for other people's mistakes. But however, we'll all learn through that. It's not rosy; they haven't gotten away with it. Because we may do, everybody will go through that redemption, they'll go through easy, but it's when we come to migrate, that's when it will tell. The migration itself starts on the 1st of January coming. Now, I think if you already have read the blog, uh, you, you're you required to keep their profile updated all times. Um, I will, actually, I won't go into that because Bex will follow him behind me. We're just trying to get used to this, this Zoom, which, which, we do, which we haven't used at all before for uh, TBC. And the reason why we use this Zoom because we can share the pages. Otherwise, I would have still been talking on YouTube. But now you can't share on YouTube anymore. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. And, uh, you yeah. know, yeah, you know, it, it's the blog. The blog is saying that everyone who holds at least one whole TBC coin falls under the hammer of this. The ones who hold anything 
at least, well, no, they're fine, yeah. They're okay, but, and there's, there's a lot of those people too. You know, nothing happens to them. And uh, admin is right, you know, everybody needs to get out and do something, regardless of what it was, what it is. Um, maybe um, the main thing, you know, uh, support those send button meetings. I know it's New Zealand time, it's a bit early, even even we're struggling to get up uh, to watch the send button meetings out of Auckland, out of Auckland, New Zealand, that is. Um, only because, uh, it, you know, first there's a send button broadcasters meeting before the send button meetings. So that means we got to get up around 3 a.m. every Tuesday morning. And that starts from tomorrow. Um, you know, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit hard to wake up and try and get those those eyes waking up and ears listening. But but I think um, we can still carry on by going in to watch the replays. And 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 they know if you've been in there or not. Is when you click on when you click on to the link. It tells them how many people have been into that particular program. We have seen button meetings up and running now. Ten seen button meetings. And um and when you submit that keyword, well, you know, that's an extra for you. But um I'll go down a bit further because there is a piece I'm gonna read. I've got quarter of an hour to go. I'm limited on on um on this, I've got a quarter of an hour to go because I'm limited on um, on Zoom. So uh, YouTube, you can talk as long as you want. And it's got here, consider the, the alternative, and that's in this article. Uh, there are some that have expressed the concern about the policy to hold the TBC billionaires accountable, starting on September 1st, 2019. It's um, just over three weeks away. Let's consider the alternative. What would happen if we allow the TVC billionaires to just sit back and sleep? If you look closely at the numbers in the Bitcoin contest, they tell you exactly what will continue to happen if we don't hold the TVC billionaires accountable. Do you see that we only have two to three hundred members doing any recruiting? It has been that way for many months now. Should we just not care and let whatever happens happen? In other words, should we just let TBC fail due to a lack of effort and participation? What happens to the millions and Billions in your TBC wallet if we fail and die. Failure is the alternative to this new policy. Haven't we all put something of value into TBC over the course of three and a half years? I've poured sweat, blood and tears into building TBC and I'm not certainly I'm certainly not going to allow TBC to die. We need to pump up the numbers and we must pump them up now. Consider the alternative carefully before you start expressing your concern about this policy. Also, remember if you are one to express this concern, then you are part of the problem leading to the death of TBC. If so, you are exposing this about yourself. Do you really want to be seen that way? So what is the big deal about this policy? Is it the monthly payment of the admin fee or is it the requirements needed to become a full-timer in TBC? Let's examine these. The admin fee is about $22 a month. 
Now, twenty-two dollars a month. What I'm seeing in this page here, yeah, that's got to be twenty-two US dollars a month. Okay, do you think we have been collecting enough admin fee to cover the cost to build a community of one billion and provide them all the support they require from the admin side? Or enough to build a blockchain and wallet system to meet the needs of doing billions of transactions a day securely? So, let me get this straight. You think $22 a month is too much to ask from you to turn you into a billionaire? Where else can you become a billionaire? That's right, nowhere. If you think $22 a month is too much, then it is hopeless for you to ever become a millionaire. Let alone a billionaire. Only an emerging new economy that is its own distribution phase is any of these even possible. You are lucky enough to, to have found us now. If you really believe you are too poor to pay $22 a month, then be happy to move down with the millionaire zone. Because your belief about yourself is preventing us from turning you into a billionaire. This is an option for you now. Return the distribution that would turn you into a billionaire and accept the position of being a TBC millionaire instead. This policy only affects those holding one whole TBC coin or more. So it doesn't impact those holding less than that. In other words, a TBC millionaires. You don't have a choice regarding this policy. You can't keep a whole TBC coin without stepping up and meeting the requirements. So, what is the problem with becoming a full-timer? <coughs> <coughs> I hope it isn't the need to have a complete profile or the need to watch a recent send button, send button meeting, which are part of the steps to become a full timer. If it is you are in a sorry shape and, and really shouldn't be a billionaire, so perhaps it is the requirement to recruit two people into TBC that is upsetting you. Maybe you lack the belief in yourself, in your ability to recruit, recruit two paid signups. Doesn't the August promo help you to accomplish this? The two admin credits you will get cover the cost for these paid signups. Doesn't that help you meet the simple requirement of signing up to new members into TBC. Now, before I finish this paragraph, I'll bet you'll go in and tidy that up because a lot of people may not understand what these two admin credits are. So, and and that and those admin credit credits, sorry, are available only in the month of August. So, when when Bex comes in straight up for for our back to back. Um, Liveys, she she may point out the difference on there and explain a little bit deeper what they really are. I mean, really, if you can't sign up two new members when it is free, for them to sign up when you really can't recruit at all, 
Recruiting has always has been about having enough belief in something most important, having a belief in yourself. The cream is rising to the top. And this new policy is already having a positive impact on the true believers within the TBC community. These believers support admin's decisions to hold the TBC billionaires accountable. Now, I do have a bit of an idea how many TBC billionaires there are. Uh, I'm going on a count that I heard going back at least two and a half months up to that state, there was only 100,000 TBC billionaires that hold one coin or more. Now, now we all know how many are, are, are registered in TBC now because every day you open up your back office of the KBC, in other words, you'll see it written right at the top. That's up to date day by day, and it's about 3.3 .3 million in there. And it's only about 100,000 that have one whole TBC. But um, it may be a little give and take, but we're looking for a million of those before this program shuts down for the billionaires' positions. Okay, where are we? These believers support Edmund's decision to hold the TBC billionaires accountable. Would you rather have $1 or $1,000? That is the difference between a TBC millionaire and a TBC billionaire. For every dollar a TBC millionaire has, a TBC billionaire yeah, we'll have at least $1,000. And that makes sense. The rewards are a thousand times higher for the TBC billionaires than it is for the TBC millionaires. Shouldn't the TBC billionaires be expected to do more than the TBC millionaires? These believers agree with that principle and are happy to do what it is required of them to be a TBC billionaire. In fact, all of the TBC billionaires should be broadcasters too. But that is not a critical need at this time. But it will be later when our size becomes more noticeable in the world. And we must exercise our voices, stand up for our beliefs. I really appreciate all of the support I have been getting from these leaders and that they stand united with me on the new policy. Don't you want to be part of something that has strength at the top of it? Success is assured as a result of this policy and they know it is true. Growth happens in stages, and what we expect out of growth goes up and up the bigger something grows. We don't expect the baby to do much except eat and sleep, right? They don't emerge out of the womb talking, right? We don't expect a child to join the army and fight for their country. That would be ridiculous. TBC is something about that is growing and just like anything else we expect it will have the power to do more things the bigger it gets. But we don't want to pretend that everything is set in stone today when it comes to TBC. We are growing and we need these challenges to make us stronger so that we will keep on growing. Use some common sense when analyzing TBC and what admin is doing. Trust in the process. Just look how far we have come so far and how much we have overcome already. TBC is making history 
in the Happy Online will show up in it as one of the important people in our story that is unfolding. Right, um, yeah. Now, uh, you'll find that this um, this section in the blog, you know, you'll find that um, down in the educational side, but there's, a, there's about three or four that need to be read in probably one or two times just to, to understand where admin is coming from. Okay, and what he's really saying is the TBC coins, everybody just jumped in because they knew the value of the coins when they mature. So everybody just dived in, head first, pull up whatever they could, and just sat back. But the thing was, when that happened, TBC slowed down, and so did the growth. And that's what we're trying to get up, is the growth of TBC in its purest form going through. So um, I've got to get off now. We're really restricted to the time limits. So, um, I'd like to thank um, uh, Tawiki, kia ora. And uh, as we get on getting used to the Zoom, maybe we'll have a few more people, but we only managed to put it out over a couple of sites. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Tawiki, for, for joining us. And there is a chat box, a chat room down in there somewhere. But, yeah, as we, as we use this more and more, we'll, we'll improve on our on our way we present and, and have the options to talk face to face as we can see each other. And anyway, thank you so much once again for joining in my live broadcast. And same time tomorrow night, Monday through to Friday, 9 p.m. to 9.30. And God go with you and go in peace. Uh, stop video. Stop here.